In today's session, we will focus on exercises that will help relieve morning stiffness from the hips, thighs, spine and ankles. The first exercise relates to the hip flexor muscles. To come into position, sit down on your knees on the mat. You can keep one blanket under the left knee for cushioning and bring the right knee up in a 90 degree position in front of you. Make sure both your left and right knees are at 90 degrees and you are gripping the mat tightly with your toes. This will give you stability. If you are unable to find balance in this position, you can keep your left hand on a nearby wall. Now, tuck your tailbone in and engage your hip muscles. Try to push your left hip forward and right hip backwards. Keep engaging your hip muscles and push yourself forward without leaning forward. Maintain a neutral spine position. You will feel a slight stretch on the front of the left thigh. Hold this position for five breaths. Then switch to the other leg and repeat for five breaths. Our next exercise is the Pigeon Pose, which is very beneficial for stretching the hip muscles. To get into position, grip your fingers and toes on the mat and come into the downward dog position. Your knees should be in line with your hips. Your hands should be slightly ahead of your shoulders. It is perfectly fine if you are unable to keep your feet fully flat on the mat. Over time, as your flexibility increases, this should become possible. Facing the mat, gently bring the right knee forward and place it on the mat, in between your hands. The knee should be in line with the center of the chest and your right foot should be facing outwards. Now push the right hip back to get a deeper stretch in the glutes or hip muscle. Enjoy that gentle stretch on the hip muscle and on the outer thigh. Ensure you are not elevating your shoulders and they are relaxed. The back leg should be completely on the ground. You should also feel a gentle stretch on your left hip muscles and now slowly bring your upper body down and keep your elbows on the ground and interlock your hands. Keep taking deep and long breaths. Once you are done with your five to seven breaths, gently lift your body up, move back into the downward dog position and repeat with your other leg. You should not feel any pain or discomfort in your knees. If you are getting any knee pain, Try to readjust your position until the pain subsides. You can try moving your knee a little outwards or a little inwards to find a comfortable position. Once you are done, gently get up, go back into the downward dog position, walk a little bit and relax. For our third exercise, we will focus on relaxing your spine. From the same downward dog position as the previous exercise, start walking towards the front with your hands still on the ground. Relax your spine completely. Then walk backwards and come back into downward dog again. Ensure you are gripping your hands firmly on the ground to avoid any stress on the wrists. If at any point you feel tired, rest your knees on the mat for a few seconds and relax. Then gently get back up into downward dog. 
and repeat this 5 to 10 times. For our last exercise, begin from the downward dog position of the previous exercise and slowly walk forward with both feet and legs. Once you reach the front of the mat, sit down in a yogi squat or malasan. Your toes should be facing outwards relative to the heels and your knees should be in line with the toes. If you are unable to sit down in a yogic squat due to ankle immobility or if you are falling back or your heels are rising up, you can keep a folded blanket or a pillow just below your heels. This should provide some comfort and improve stability. Now, bring both your elbows in between your legs next to your knees and maintain a namaskar position. Keeping your shoulders relaxed, try to push your knees outward. Make sure that your neck and spine are elongated and you are breathing normally. Hold this position for one to two minutes or as long as comfortable. Hope you enjoyed this session. Thank you.